I'm collaborating with Paul Brody. We're making a six layer trophy. Layers one through four are completed and today I'll make layer number five. My plan is to use quarter inch diameter stainless steel tubing as vertical elements that go all the way around the layer. I have an abrasive saw that I'll use to cut the individual pieces. I've set an end stop on the saw so I don't have to measure each piece. I'll just bring the work up to the stop, clamp it in place, then I can make the cut. So now I can deburr and polish each piece. I'll use a scotch bright pad on a right angle grinder to brighten the finish on each tube. I'll hold the tube between centers on the lathe so I can spin it. And you can see how quickly that brightens the finish. Now that all the tubes are cut, I have to hold them in the proper arrangement. And they don't stand up very well by themselves, so what I've done is to turn a disc on a lathe that's just the right diameter, and I'll use a rubber band to hold the tubes in place. So, that's the orientation for the tubes, and now I can make the caps that fit on the top and the bottom. I'm going to use the lathe to form a flange on the top and bottom cap. So I have a form already put in the chuck, and I'll get the disc aligned with it, put a clamping block into place, tighten this up with a nut, then I'll support the end of this with a live center. Now I'll use a ball bearing I put on a shaft to force this flange against the former. That's about as far as I can go with the first push. Now I'll change the angle of this so I can push on it again. And I'll set this to 90 degrees for our final push. We'll pull this apart and take a look. So that's a great way to make a uniform flange. The flanging I did on the lathe leaves a flat surface and I want to give this a rounded edge. So I'll use beading dies on the bead roller to do that. I'll bring the pressure down on this a half turn at a time. Okay, so that's giving me the nice rounded edge I'm looking for. Let's try the fit of the cap. It's a very nice fit. So now I need a strategy to hold all these parts together. So I currently have two pieces of three quarter inch thick MDF in the center and it doesn't quite come up to the top. But if I add a quarter inch spacer, it now is flush. So the plan is to hold this slug of wood together with screws and then when the end caps go into place, I'll put three smaller screws in to hold the end caps to the wooden slug. And that should hold everything together nicely. So I've used three wood screws to hold these discs together. And now I want to drill some holes that will hold the end caps onto that wooden slug. And I made a little drill fixture for this. So this locates off the center hole. I'm going to align this hole with one of the lines I've drawn on this part to get that centered. And I'll clamp this into place so it can't shift as I'm drilling. 
I'll drill a pilot hole for the number six screws I'll be using. So that side's done, and I'll do the same thing to the other side. When I made the first layer, one of my viewers pointed out that I didn't do anything to clock the holes between one side and the other. So I'm going to do this this time. I've drawn a line that goes out to the edge of my disc and a vertical line that meets that. And then I've made another line that intersects that line. So now my hole pattern will be the same on both sides. So I'll get this centered and put the screw in the center hole. Get this clamped into place. And again, I'll drill the pilot holes for the number six wood screws. So I'll use the same drill jig to make the holes in the end caps. I'll get those located from the center hole, clamp everything in place so it can't shift, and then we'll drill those holes. And one more step I'll have to do on the aluminum end caps is open up these holes so I have clearance for the screws. Now we'll countersink these holes so the screw heads fit flush. First I'm going to deburr the holes. When you drill a hole it leaves a small burr on the edge so I'm going to trim that down. And I made my own dimple die. I took a piece of round stock, I drilled a hole in it the size of the screw, then I used a countersink to make a recess for the head to fit into. So I'll show you how this works. So all I need to do is to hammer this down, and we have a nice countersunk hole. And now we'll spin this on the lathe to give it a beautiful grained finish. I'll use the scotch Brite pad to put a grained finish on this end cap. And that's really the finishing touch. So finally, all the pieces are finished. Let's fit them together. I did countersink these holes so there'd be room for the countersunk aluminum cap. So let's get this centered with a center bolt. We'll line up the screws and drive them down. I'll put the rubber band around this which will hold the stainless tubes vertically. Okay, everything's fitting together nicely. Let's try the top cap and see how that fits. Seems like it's fitting great. So I'll drive these last screws into place. So I'm very happy with how layer number five came out. And Paul's going to make the final layer that goes on top of this. I've assembled my three layers with spacers showing the height of the layers Paul is making. Paul and I are going to do a coin toss by FaceTime. The winner of the coin toss will receive the pieces they didn't make, then assemble the entire trophy and ship it to the winner of the raffle. The loser of the coin toss will actually do the drawing to pick who the winner is. So that's coming up next. Okay, I'm as ready as I get. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to toss the coin and you're going to call it. Right. It's going to end up in my hand like that. Okay. All right, let's see what I can do here. Okay. I call it tails. You get tails? Yeah. And... You win, Ron. Okay. 
It's Tails. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, it's been great to work with you, Paul. This has been a treat. I've enjoyed it very much myself. So after I finish my layer six, I'm going to send it off to you. Okay. Sounds great. I've, and I'll do the I've assembly and the shipping, and you get to pick the big winner. After Paul ships me the three layers he's made, I'm going to make one more video showing the whole trophy assembled. Meantime, Paul will pick one name from the hundreds of entries we've received and let me know who the winner is, and I'll ship the trophy to them. This video will launch on November 25, 2023, and you'll have a few days after that to enter the raffle. The way to enter is to post a comment saying, Trophy, Trophy. Thanks to all of you who followed this project, and it's been a true delight working with Paul. He's one of the nicest and most talented people on YouTube.